Uh, we start off our morning with a nice little leak. As you can see the bubble that is starting to form right there. Now you can use anything soapy water. I just happen to really like uh, this stuff. Yes, it's more expensive than bubbly water, but it also lasts a lot longer. And story on this one, customer was putting in cans of refrigerant and got tired of keep adding the cans of refrigerant over a period of time and finally decided to get it fixed. Good job EPA, let everybody have the can so they could just squirt it in and it comes into our atmosphere. So in this situation, it came in flat on refrigerant and dry nitrogen, 150 PSI. Now this whole hose was wet and there was dye in there because some of the old cans that he used before had dye in it. So God knows how much oil there is in here too because he probably got those all in one, fix it everything, including the kitchen sink with the NASA super cool uh, additive. So this whole thing, which you can't see here in the bright, oh, you can start to. Yeah, this probably cannot see it, but my eyes can see it. It's glowing. Whole thing's glowing all the way down to the compressor. But that's the leak. And um, without wasting any refrigerant, you just use some dry nitrogen. And dry nitrogen, you can blow off to the air because that's what we breathe. With 70% nitrogen in the air. Uh, you can never fill up a system with 150 PSI of refrigerant because the temperature will depend the refrigerant's pressure. So if you have a car that's cold and it's a 40 or 50 degree morning like it is right now and you put refrigerant in the system, you'll only get 40 or 50 PSI on your gauges. This way by using this, you could pump it up to 150 PSI and you could even perform a standard nitrogen decay test. That's it on this video, it's just a quickie for today.